All right, Jesse, thank you very much. A year-long study shows that Baton Rouge police officers are working long hours but are not making enough money, especially compared to different peer groups. The EBR Metro Council and city leaders further discuss the next steps to get those officers a raise. Fox 44's Tisa Muzinga joins us now to tell us what the study found. Tisia. Chad, Lauren, good evening. There's a multi-million dollar pay gap between the Baton Rouge Police Department and other local agencies. And in order to get those officers the raise they are looking for, it would cost the department more than $21 million. Uh, I knew our police officers were underpaid. It's been a year long wait, but the numbers are in and it's not surprising for city leaders and police. A study shows BRPD officers are making 40% less than other local law enforcement agencies. BRPD starting pay sits under $39,000. To put numbers into perspective, it would cost BRPD more than $14 million a year to give these officers a pay raise. And that number could easily climb to more than $21 million to provide health care and other benefits. During Wednesday's Metro Council meeting, city leaders agreed a new tax wouldn't be a solution. We have a whole team that's working with the police chief on the police department to look for ways to pull revenue out of that budget. And the $21 million needed doesn't just show up right off the bat. But city leaders say they'll find ways to get officers the raise they're looking for. There, there are some uh, savings that we've recognized uh, within our current budget, uh, being a little more responsible with over time. The study concludes the department is losing its officers who have up to eight years of experience to other cities and agencies. But Chief Murphy Paul says they are seeing progress with recruits as more than 100 applicants are waiting to take a test to become a BRPD officer. Our turnover rate is going down. We lost more police officers in 2015 and 2016 than in 2017 and 2018. So we see the numbers going down as it relates to turnover, and we believe that this year, 2019, those numbers are going to be even less. You can find BRPD's pay study report on our website at brproud.com. For Fox 44 News, I'm Ticia Muzinga. Ticia, thank you. BRPD also released an annual report of the community. You can find that on its website at brla.gov.